And then the average of this is, it goes up here, down here, up here, down here. So that's the average, the fluctuation, which was badly drawn. <laughs> Let's do that again. What is up with me? My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today I'm answering someone's question, which was, when you run lean, so they talk about running lean when we talk about fuel efficiency, it's a very hot topic for diesels and all the rest of it, because they can run stupidly lean. Um, but one of the um, things I want to talk about is, someone asked, I think it was Greg, asked, running lean equals hotter? And he said, I don't understand how, what do you mean it runs hotter? fuel, you combust fuel which gives you heat, pressure, force, so how come running lean equals hotter? This doesn't make much sense to him. And it's a good point. And the other thing is as well is, surely you'd want to run lean because hotter means more pressure and more pressure means more power. So how come we even, re how can we even run at a stoichiometric ratio? This doesn't seem to make much sense. And it's a good point. The thing is, this is like everything with an engine, and this is what I get a lot of comments about. They seem to think that everything is just one particular thing. You know, why is this like this? Oh, it's one particular thing. It's never, ever fucking one particular thing, ever, right? So you might think less fuel, less fuel for your air, for your oxygen, would, would mean a lower temperature. This doesn't seem to make any sense, and it's exactly true. So you've got less, you've got less O2 plus less um, petrol. It does equal lower temperatures. So this doesn't make any sense. It's because, and this is what you've got it, it's not just one simple thing. This is a very simple statement, there's less energy. There's less energy here. So how can this be true? This is true, and so is this. It's because you've got less petrol. Um, it shouldn't be less O2. What the fuck am I talking about? You've got your O2, your normal O2. I don't know why I put less. There we go. So I've sorted that one out for some comments. <laughs> yeah, so your normal amount of O2... Um, you're running lean, so you've got less petrol in there, you've got less fuel. It, it, we should put fuel instead of diesel. Uh, instead of diesel, instead of petrol, because it's diesel as well. Less fuel, which means less energy, which means lower temperatures. This is all true. There's nothing magical about O2 with less fuel. It doesn't combust at higher temperatures or anything stupid like that. Um, so what the hell's happening? Well, O2 is just two oxygens that just fly around where the fuel is these hydrocarbons which are zigzaggy chains of hydrogen and carbon so they're quite a big molecule the other thing is petrol diesel and all the rest of it are known as volatiles because they are um, they evaporate their rate of evaporation is very quick and their evaporation temperatures their boiling temperatures are really quite low um, compared to even compared to water and stuff like that so what happens is, is when um, your inlet port opens, or just say it's a two-stroke and your transfer port opens, some, you know, how the system works, uh, the fuel and air floods into the cylinder and it cools. And weirdly enough, it's not so much the oxygen that does the cooling, it's this massive molecule. It's this massive molecule of fuel, be it diesel, be it petrol. It, it basically it smashes into the sides of the piston and the cylinder walls and everything that it comes into contact with and it evaporates which is exactly what we want but we've got a phase transition there we're going from a liquid droplet to an evaporated a gas and when you evaporate a, va uh, a vapor so when you evaporate um, going from a liquid to a gas you have to um, you, you it draw in energy you know you take energy you're sat on the floor as a puddle of liquid and now you're flying around and that takes energy to go from there to flying about and uh, these processes they draw when something evaporates it draws up the energy to then go and do that um, 
and that's what happens is, is the fuel and the air go into your cylinder and then the fuel evaporates off your piston and your cylinder wall and it takes all the heat with it, it cools the engine. So then when you compress, compression causes heat, you then ignite it, that comp you know, creates heat and then uh, the force, you know, the pressure rises, it pushes the piston down and then when your next charge comes in, it soaks the walls of the, the cylinder and the piston, it evaporates, taking heat, which cools. If you have less fuel, there is less of this cooling action. So if you look at this as a cycle, and we'll just say this is temperature um, and this is time, like so, combustion, uh, inlet, combustion, inlet, combustion, inlet, combustion, inlet. Um, like I say, we're missing out all the strokes, you get the idea. And then when we look at the average of that, it's something like this, you know what I mean? And then when you do lean burning, what happens is, is your combustion is exactly the same, but your cooling is never the same. Like so. Because you haven't got as much fuel as you had to evaporate, so then what happens is, is obviously, is your mean goes up. So your mean temperature is higher, so hence, running lean equals hotter. So it's not a question mark, it's a fact. This is why running lean will mean that you run hotter. Hope that made sense, and I'll see you in a bit.